Okay, let's look at how we can build out a customized high converting checkout page here in high level. I'm going to show you how to build this exact checkout format that I use for all of our programs, especially our low ticket stuff. As you can see, this is an LTO $30 program. Uh, first, let's just understand this page is placed in the funnel. So of course, we have our sales page. When someone goes to our sales page through one of our ads through an organic Instagram post an automation, whatever it is, and they click on our CTA, they will be sent here to the checkout page. And then once paid payment is captured, they will go here to our confirmation page where we essentially are just telling them important information, where the email will be coming from, what to do if they don't see the login email, etc. And this works really, really well to streamline customer support if any issues arise. So how do we build this out? Well, I'm going to go in here to the editor and show you exactly how you can replicate this. It is extremely simple. So first thing we do in here in our sections is we just added in a full width one column or a full width section and then in that section we added in a one column row and then we added in an image element right here and we put our logo uh, now obviously once that was in we made sure the logo was the correct size in this uh, in this case it was a height of 50 and we left the width at default so just play around with the sizing to make sure it looks good for you on both mobile and desktop then for the actual section right here we changed the margins just to make it much smaller uh, so we didn't have a bunch of wasted space here in the first section of our page. Then what we did is we brought in a new section right underneath that section. So these are two different sections. Changed the background color. I don't know why it's showing green, uh, but it is actually gray, as you can see. But we changed the background color to a light gray, which we typically do. And then from there, went ahead and put in a one column row where we put in a headline and said you're one step away from making vegan living effortless. So essentially letting them know, hey, you're almost over the finish line to getting the result you're after. Then we just put right under there a sub headline saying get instant access to, and then we listed out some of the features. What you're gonna to wanna to do next in that same section, as we can see when I hover over this green bar that represents the section, just like this one, so you can see these are two different sections. This is all in one section. So we had those one, the one column row with two one column elements, and then what we do right below the one column sub headline is we just drop in a two column row. Here for our element on the left side, we put in an order form. So you can go two step or one step. In this case, we're doing one step. Typically, I'm doing one step order forms because I feel like every single time I A-B test a two step, the one step converts better. But you can totally test those. Just know the designing will be a little bit different because you want to make things match up. And a two step, I can show you right here, uh, is a little bit shorter than a one step if I was to put that right here you can see it's significantly smaller especially after we remove some of these fields but let's get back to the build tutorial so first thing we're doing here is actually selecting this this purple box uh, and we're going to make the background color white then we'll come back to our one step order and we'll place that in next click on the actual one step order right here and in the menu bar go to advanced change your headline to whatever you want it to be. So in this case, we had join how, the how to vegan community. And then our sub headline was it's time to make vegan living easy. So that's going to be your headline, your sub headline. You want to go ahead and hide company name. You want to go ahead and hide phone number, unless that's something you're really after. Just know it probably will lower your conversions. Uh, and then go ahead and hide shipping. So now you should just have full name and email address. Here you can add in order bumps and upsells as well right here. Uh, and you can also go back to general and you can change the button color to be whatever you like, the button size and some more customizations and most importantly, the button action. In this step, we're going to go to next step because if I look at the next step in the funnel, it would be the confirmation. Just know that if you do have multiple checkouts like I do here, if I was to do annual and select next step, it would then take them to the checkout monthly because that is the next step in the funnel. So if I was doing this one, I would select a specific step and make sure that I am always sending my post purchases to my confirmation page, unless of course you're doing an OTO upsell, but we're not gonna cover that here. Maybe that's a topic for a different video. So you can also do what I did here and just click on again, the purple and put in like box shadows, you just have to do one at negative two, one at negative two, and then one just set as default. You could, of course, put borders, you could round the borders, etc. That's all up to you and your customization. Next, all I did was put in an image here on the right side. 
So an image element, and that was my mock-up. And then this is just going to be a headline at size 50 with a crossed out full price. And then a headline at size 65 in green with the current price. These are just uh, the bullet list element. So right here in elements, you'll see there's bullet list. And you can see I can customize the text colors, the icon colors, and I can choose specific icons here. And then down below, another image element with this image right here. And then this is just a uh, subheadline. And then down here below our checkout, we have an image. So again, right, all I would do to add this would be go to image and just drop that in, select the corresponding image. And then below here, we just have some of our legal stuff and linking to our terms, privacy, stripes, terms, and privacy, etc. And down here, we have our footer. Uh, so as you can see, it is actually quite simple to go ahead and build out this exact landing page. And this is the same structure that we always use. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. My email is down there as well. Uh, in addition, there's some free resources that might be helpful to you in the link down below. And if there's anything else I can do to help you out, just let me know. If you want to see a specific video on a specific topic, you can comment down below as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.